let's call Barcelona. And tickets are on sale for the summer of international cricket. And I'm pleased to say Nathan, Michael Lyon, baggy green number 421 is on the line live from Barcelona. Am I right, Nathan? Uh, correct, mate. How are we? Uh, going good. Told you. Told you okay, tell, tell, tell me this, Nathan. How did you end up in Barcelona? I thought you were over there playing county cricket. Yeah, <laughs> jumped on a plane, mate, from um, England and uh, ended up in Spain, which is uh, pretty nice. First time here. But, um, yeah, obviously got a break from county cricket, so obviously taken full advantage with family and come over to see Barcelona. Oh, how good's that? You know, with the county, I, I, I thought, is that um... – it's obviously not as popular as it used to be. Aussies going to playing county cricket. Who else? Who else that's a contracted um, Australian cricketer playing in playing in county? Uh, yeah, there's a few. Uh, it, it is still pretty popular, um, to be honest. Uh, obviously, Marnus is over here playing for um, for Morgan. You got uh, a range of guys playing the blast. We're, we've got Chris Green at um, Lancashire, Sean Abbott. Uh, he's at Surrey with Spencer Johnson. Michael Ness is at Hampshire. So oh, a there's a range of different guys over here playing um, during the blast from Australian cricket. And I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time. The T20 World Cup's on at the moment. I, I just want to see Nathan Lyon in every every team that's got an Format. Australian jumper on. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know the minutiae detail as to why mm. or why it hasn't happened. But uh, are you missing it? Have you been watching it? Um. I've been following it. Uh, I can't say I've watched the ball bold. Um, <laughs> the cricket in Spain's not the biggest uh, biggest appeal um, to many people, um, which is quite surprising. But um, yeah, I haven't found a, a bar with the T Twenty World Cup on it in Barcelona just yet. Hey, um, did you get to watch that uh, abysmal game last Wednesday, Wednesday week over in um, Barcelona? By any chance? Uh, <laughs> You're talking about the start of Rory. I am. I am. I'm talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I, I watched that on my phone, mm. um, unfortunately. Thoughts? Of, what, was it a send-off? Um, was it a send-off? Yeah, dis- um, I wouldn't have sent him off, but no. um, 10 in the bin. But I probably wouldn't even have done that if no. I'd seen his blues player. Mm. <laughs> this might not allow you back into the country of England, which you're playing at the moment. But uh, Joshy Hazelwood came out and he spoke about the fact that it was in our power <laughs> If we sort of played the game in a certain manner, ta-da, Tatiana Western Webb, England would be out of the oh. World Cup. Did you catch those comments? And what did you think of it? Uh, <laughs> I did. I did see those comments, yeah. and uh, obviously knowing Josh pretty well, he's got a pretty uh, dry sense of humour yeah. that uh, a lot of people probably don't uh, pick up on. But uh, I, I know for a fact that Australia won't be doing that. No. Um, they're there to win a World Cup and they're there to beat everyone in, in their path. Um, but saying that, I think Scotland's, it, it, they're an improving team. Um, they've played some outstanding cricket thus far during the World Cup and they'll know exactly what they need to do, obviously win, but they'll also know exactly what they need to do to um, hopefully have a better run rate than than England's. But um, I don't know. But my point of view, if it rains, that would be, that'd be hard hard to see. That wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd be no, very would, hard would to the, take. Um, just, just on the uh, World <laughs> Cup, the, the Sebos beat Pakistan, didn't they? Yeah. Are they legit? Are they legit <laughs> Sebos? Are they, are they like? Or have we got you know the grand grandparent rule? <laughs> I'm not really sure what you're talking about, uh, Sepo. Uh, uh, hey, Sep- what, sorry, what, what, what he's saying? US, septic uh, tank. He, he's saying, the uh, are they legit? Are they building nicely, or really? Yeah. Is is it a team full of? The American team just full of people who live elsewhere. Yes, with the grandparent rule. Or that um, I'm not sure mix. exactly um, where the, where the guys live, um, but they're obviously representing you. Are saying they're doing a pretty amazing job. Yeah. Um, they they put it to India there for a little bit, but obviously beat beat um, Pakistan, and, and they're well on their way to getting into the um, top eight. So. That, that's going to be exciting to see, um, it, and it's great for international cricket, isn't it? I'll tell you what's great for international cricket is this series for Amazon, The Test, mm. Season 3. Do you like watching that stuff, Nate, or is it is it hard to watch? A new feature predominantly, obviously, because uh, when we lost you, we lost all hopes, but have you enjoyed watching it? Uh, I found it hard watching yeah. at the start. Um, obviously, not the, not the first episode, but the second episode, I found that pretty hard, but... Um, I, I think it's pretty good. I think you get a really raw um, look as an Australian fan in, into what really goes behind the scenes, um, the way you guys prepare, the 
the emotions, uh, the highs, the lows, um, and realizing that the, the Australian cricket is uh, exactly the same people as everyone else. So um, they they've got real emotions. They go through the highs and lows of of everything, like everyone does. And I, I think it's been really good. Um, it, I don't know it still hurts seeing um, we. I feel like we had a massive opportunity, and we obviously let that slip in the in the last three Test matches, but. Saying that, still pretty proud to retain the Ashes and hopefully the Australian fans and people around the world really enjoy watching it. Hey, Nathan, it's a Friday, so we play this little game called Bears Heads uh, Hypothetical. Oh, do we? And um, <laughs> Yeah, we do this. So this is a hypothetical I want, to, I want to run past you. You're in the Mediterranean. You're on a super yacht and you're just sitting back and you're having a, uh, a margarita mm. and you see in the water two people, two men. One's uh, Johnny Best, our one's Stuart Broad. One's on the starboard side, one's on port side. Mm. You see them both drowning, but you can only <laughs> put your margarita down and jump into one side and save one. One of them's going to sink to the bottom because they can't swim, but you're going to save one. <laughs> Nathan, Michael, Lyon, who are we saving? Are we are we saving uh, old Tubsy or the A grade, <laughs> or the A grade with the uh, bandana on? <laughs> Do you, know, do you know what, Fletch? That's a bloody good question, but I'm a country kid and I can't swim, so I'm, I'd, I'd probably drown with him. Oh, you, you, he's, he's not putting his margarita down, nah, is what he's saying, Brian. Well, I'm so, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and just get so pissed <laughs> and just watch them both just sink to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think, harsh, I think I'm – no, it's not harsh. Brian, harsh I, I listen. I listened to Stuart Broad yeah. on a that Simon it's Jordan. It's very harsh at Bogley. Simon Jordan up front. Mm. Even made it – like, he had a, he had a chance to be – to becoming a little bit more warm, more more warm, he was an A grade, even worse. Couldn't get you. Could not get me. Okay, okay. So we're talking about A grades. Just give <laughs> Nathan the benefit of why you have emphasised his full name. I know it's a cricket thing. Okay. To, to always go through the middle names, but why are you calling him Nathan Michael Lyon? Okay, so we call people. Some people over the weekend, you can be an A grade or you can be a Michael. So Michael, Mickey Mouse, which rhymes with grouse. Yeah. So we shorten that to um, just Michaels yep. if you're a Michael. And you are. And guess who else is another Michael? Yes. Patrick Rafter. Patrick Rafter. He's a Patrick Michael Rafter. So not only is like you're legitimately a Michael, because yep. that's on your birth certificate, yep. you're a Michael anyway. Correct. 500. How many wickets we got now? 520, I'm going to say. Uh, do, do your research, Brian. What is it? <laughs> what is it, Nathan? How many? You said in the promo uh, yesterday, 530 something. Uh, I think it's a little. I think it's a little bit higher than five twenty. <laughs> five is it five thirty? Might be five. Yeah, he yeah. knows. He um, does know. Now it is. I according to my maths, it's about ten past eight a.m. in Barcelona, yep. which means in about an hour and fifty minutes. So ten a.m. in Barcelona, mm-hmm. Nathan's green machine will get you. Will get you. Will get you. Oh, Do you see green? Yeah. And take me on the Cowboys. Chance to watch that, Nathan. Uh I'll try to. Uh, I'll try to follow on, but um, the Fox League app's not the greatest to watch hey, over. Whoa, over the Sometimes whoa. They don't, don't don't let us watch it. So um, oh, you might be you might be yeah, up, you but, might uh, be on the Channel Nine one actually because Fox is global. <laughs> well, actually, you know what you could do. SEN League have got the call I'll, through the I'll app. Be uh, get on the app and uh, Jimmy Smith, your right mate Jimmy Smith's got the call, yeah. so you can chime in that way if you're out and about, Brian. Okay, yeah. Hey, how's the body, Nathan? Is the calf all sweet? Obviously, it would be, but how's the body in general? Uh, yeah, no, all going pretty well. Um, obviously, did a pretty high, extensive um, rehab during during the calf process, and uh, allowed me to understand what I'd probably need to do moving forward as well, and just to, to maintaining and improving as well. But um, I do a lot of work with Tom Carter back at home, um, who is obviously the, the he's a strength coach for the rugby sevens. Um, and they're obviously heading off to the Olympics soon, but um, he, he's been my main call, um, a main guy who I do a lot of work with so a lot of credit needs to go to him but um all, all going really well feeling good pretty pumped about this summer ahead now you were spotted at the formula one in melbourne how'd you find that uh yeah well, it was pretty lucky alex Carey, uh usman and myself were lucky enough to go and go down there and be with oscar um piastri obviously driver for mclaren and I was in the garage with him, having lunch with yeah. him before the lunch, uh, before the race, and it was just absolutely exceptional. Um, the access that the F1 give us, and um, pretty pretty lucky that we've been able to to do that a couple of years in a row now. Hey uh, Nathan, what's the uh, schedule for the summer of cricket? And I know we're hosting India, England, Pakistan, and New Zealand. What's um, who's first? First test. 
the first test, uh, I only worry about test cricket, to be honest, mate. But yeah. uh, this first time we've got five five test matches against India. Um, so in the history of the game, that, that our series, our rivalry is only getting bigger and bigger against India. And um, it's pretty exciting um, to know that you you got a five five test match series against India um, at home. Um, gee, it arguably doesn't get any bigger. Ah. Obviously, Ashes um, is the pinnacle in my eyes, but um, gee, the Indian series is just just behind it as well. And they obviously had the wood over us over the last couple of years that they've come out. So I know we're looking to um, go out and play expansive brand of cricket, exciting brand, which we always do, and hopefully um, have a great result and a really competitive summer, which we're looking forward to. Uh, the great man, Nathan Lyon, dreams are free. What about the life this bloke has earned mm. and is living, Brian? But uh, living in Lancashire for the time being, yeah. any advice around up there in Merseyside? And Stay away from King Street and Wigan. Don't know if uh, that was part of Lancashire. <laughs> where are you, where, in, in Lancashire, where are you, where are you based? Uh, just just outside um, in a little little um, little town near Alderley Edge, so, uh, which is a nice, nice spot. Nice mm. part of uh, Manchester. They're good people up there. I wonder there. if he understands the language that you first ran into, Brian. Oh, you're you're eight. When I, I was there, so when I went to Wigan, they, they kept saying, you're eight. And I went, yeah, I'm okay. And then like two months later, are you all right? And I say, yeah, I'm sweet. I'm still okay. Six, six months later, they kept saying, are you all right? And I'm going, oh, look, I've been here six months, uh, mate. I'm sweet. I'm, yeah. But he goes, no, it's just like a figure of speech. It's like saying g'day. <laughs> and it uh, sort of confused me because the Wiganers miss words. Yeah. So they say, me hungry, me or pub. I said, sorry, me hungry, me a pub, which means I'm hungry. Do you want to go to the pub for lunch? That's right. But I, I love the what English was the, humor. What was the fish shop? What did they say at the fish you shop? You like it open or wrap to open? <laughs> so I went to my first day there. I've gone into the local takeaway store, Nathan, and it was like the, they like call it the chippy. Yeah. And there was a little Asian woman there named Hannah. Mm. Now, no, oh, Helen, sorry, Helen. Anyway, so I said, oh, can I get the chips, please, and uh, with the curried sauce, because I heard it, you've got to try it. Anyway, this little Asian lady in the most Scouse accent I've yeah. ever heard, she goes, would you like it open or absorb? <laughs> and I said, excuse me? A, 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 a Liverpoolian accent, a yeah. Scouse accent coming out of a little Asian lady. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, she just confused the hell of me. But as I mentioned, good people, yeah. very good people, and I like a beer, as does Nathan. Great times, great times. What, what's uh, on the itinerary for the rest of the week, Nathan Lyon? Uh, heading to uh, Malga today, um, just oh. staying on a nice little golf reserve down there, oh. which will be quite nice. Uh, nice. Then head back to uh, to Manchester early next week. Um, obviously, you've got two more county games uh, on my contract here with Lanc- Lancashire, and hopefully, I'll uh, be rolling out with Jimmy Anderson, which will be pretty cool. Um, him bowling one end, me the other end. Um, it'll be never thought I'd do that. So, um, fingers crossed, he. he to, uh, rocks up and plays a couple of games for us, but um, two more games and then I'll um, head home. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, Nathan Lyon, uh, Nathan Michael Lyon, Brian. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for joining the Run Home with Joel and Fletch live from Barcelona, mate. You're welcome on this program anytime. The board's lit up because they absolutely love you, Gary. And uh, thanks again. All the best with your trip, and uh, we look forward to seeing you back in the the whites of uh, Australia. Too easy, guys. Thanks for having me. See there you.